This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety and depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warning, please visit. Holy crap, what the fuck am I about to play? Uh, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Why not? What's going on, friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be playing something a little bit different, Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, this is actually the first Yandere simulator that I've ever played. Um, I know that this is a facade. This, like, bubbly, happy music is not what this game is about. Uh, so, like it was saying in the, in the beginning, if you, if you are depressed or have anxiety, maybe don't watch this. I'm playing this off of a recommendation from a friend who told me that she was watching it with her little cousin. So maybe it's not too bad, I don't know. I've never played one before, but it's something new and I'm excited to try it out. So let's, let's just get right into it. Answer your name. Bear, nah, may, may, nice, Nike. Do we go, do we go normal? Just average Nick or bear? Burp. All right, we're just gonna be simple. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I'm an asshole. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, uh, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalks and let Sayori catch up with me. Ha ha! I overslept again, but I caught up with you this time. Maybe, but uh, only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Nick. Well, if people are staring at you for acting like, for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. I'm a dick! She's so cute, though. Fine, fine. But if you didn't wait for me... But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. I always wonder what it would be like to, like, live in a small town and walk to school. It'd be cool. By the way, Nick, have you ever decided to, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't even been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me that you were, that you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori always, Sayori likes to worry a, a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content with getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That's how I spend most of my free time. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I was worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat for a net neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? So apparently Anit is a, a young person who has no education or no job, no skills. They're kind of just like a lazy piece of crap. I don't know if it's neat or net. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what they are. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she uh, exaggerates everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I'll have no choice but to start with the anime club. Good choice. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have came into the classroom while I was spacing out. 
I look around and then realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, uh, but I saw you were just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, sometimes, er, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if I'm going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Ugh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure uh, she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after uh, one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyways? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. <laughs> and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hee <laughs> hee! Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Uh, I'll let, I let out a long sigh. Ugh, fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day that I sold myself for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs to the section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Third year. I'm not sure how Japanese high schools work out. I think it's potentially a junior. So I'm going to say that we're around like 16 or 17. No, right? Yeah, 16, 17. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to- it's a pleasure meeting you. Girl one. <laughs> Sayori, Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Girl two? <laughs> Do they not have names? Where'd you kill the atmosphere? Ah, Nick. What a nice surprise, girl three. Alright, that's so I know girl three. Welcome to the club. There's three girls in here, what do I do? All words escape me in this situation. It would me too. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you have something to say, say it. Uh, so sorry. Natsuki. Huh. <laughs> the girl, I can't believe I'm reading this. The girl whose sour attitude, uh, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year, so a freshman. Uh, she is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest one in the club. Don't don't say that. Don't say things like that. She's so modest. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with girls or with people like Sayori and Itsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Monica? Is it Monica? That's a really white name for, like, these, like, Japanese ones. We're just gonna go with Monica. That's right. It's great to see you again, Nick. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, when a bend over. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Yep. So, having her smile at me generally feels a little... You too, Monica. Come on, sit down, Nick. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. Oh, am I going to make choices in this? I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make uh, some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged 
to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is no space, so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. That's what I would have done. Sit next to your friend. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little piece of chocolate. The little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. So cute! <laughs> I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Uh, hee <laughs> hee. Well, you know. I like that she's got like one little cat tooth right here. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing all over her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice she's sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for, y you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacups in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help really help? Ah, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I, I guess. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, that, that's not true. <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, I, I meant that, you know, <laughs> I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri finally smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged in here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be the board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Haha, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budgets and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages, and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all out all their effort into starting something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and commit you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes school events like the festival that much more important i'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate right everyone yeah we'll do our best you know it everyone's enthusiastically agrees <laughs> such different girls all interested in the same goal Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted 
by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Nick, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read uh, these past few years, I really don't have a good way to answer that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex uh, fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is, a, is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid uh, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up uh, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me, immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you in for a loop? This is like meta right now? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah. I read a horror book. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to uh, at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that, but if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often uh, very successful at changing the way you look at the world, uh, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I hate horror. Horror! God, I can't speak! Oh, why that? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki eyes darts over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind uh, last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! <laughs> and give it back! Fine, fine. Hee <laughs> hee. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you, you write your own poems. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing on a level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up all your readers. You must be willing to open up to all your readers, expose your vulnerabilities, and show even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set up an example as to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look uh, quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh... Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now we have a new member. I think will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and uh, strengthen the bond for the club, of the club. Isn't that right, Nick? Monica smiles warmingly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said that I joined this club. 
Sayori uh, may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made it a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Huh. Nick, you, you all... Uh, <laughs> I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Not think with your dick, you asshole. <laughs> that is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came here for cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's where we can officially end today's meeting and on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so that we all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. Nick, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Itsuki clean up their food. Hey Nick, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! All right, guys, I think we're going to call it there for today's video with Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I appreciate you stopping in. I'm actually really liking this. Uh, it's combining video games and anime, which are two of my favorite things in the world. So uh, maybe I might play more of these later on if uh, I end up uh, enjoying this as much as I think I'm going to. But again, I appreciate you guys stopping in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.